Hey guys, my name is Steady Yank and welcome back to another episode of The Tenants where we are continuing our landlord journey. Right now, we have returned back to the property that we bought last episode. This is the first property I have purchased in the slums. Uh, slums? No, the suburbs. This does not look like the slums, Zaniac. What are you doing right now? Uh, we have a current goal because we managed to kind of rent this out. And we rented it out right now for over 10000 a month, which is what the current goal at the time was. I only get 80, uh, eight grand back in return. I did have to get a big boy bank loan, which was 14000 a month right now. Which didn't quite make me more money. It's not a problem. Because uh, eventually we'll be able to pay it all back and all that kind of jazz. But it leaves me after my income, my bills, the bank, the agents, uh, 666. That's an awkward number. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's all good. Things are still progressing. Right now, we have a goal that we need to get a, a tenant happiness at the end of the lease at 80 um, kind of rating. I'm currently researching um, the traits of our current uh, tenant we have in here. Find out their likes, their dislikes, and maybe this is the person who we can get the 80 rated from. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at this. Now, this is all of the tenants that we have in the suburb, or one of them. Ooh. We discovered they're alone now. Happiness will slowly increase when living alone and decrease when living with others. That's actually a good sign. So as time goes on, the happiness will increase. Nice. So at the end of a tenancy, we need to have someone with a uh, 80 rating in happiness. My highest one so far is a 56, 56. This one's a 31. So 56 is either Gloria here or we've got uh, your boy Kieran. Now, Ava, who we have just over here right now, is a 50. She's got a while before her tenancy ends, so it's something that we kind of need to work on in general. But I wonder if um, we can just find out more stuff about her then. So, she likes drinks. We don't really know anything about what she dislikes. This is why I need to unlock more of my skill tree stuff now for the tenant side of things. Mad skunk. I can hire a professional chef. Unlocks romance books for a classic. Okay, okay, right, sweet. Uh, unlocks gifts like cactus small. Okay, we'll go for a chef. We'll unlock that. And I wonder if we can give her some serve. We can we can bring in a professional chef for her. Now, the doorbell has just rang. We're now going to try and increase her happiness by... Could you imagine this is what you had to do in real life if you were a landlord and you wanted to make your tenants happy so you literally got a chef to come and cook for them? That would be hilarious, right? That would literally be hilarious. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I want to see if her um, happiness does increase. It's at 51. So I want to see how much it increases by. We're going to try and bend over backwards for Ava right now and see what we can pretty much do. So, oh, this is Ava right now. Uh, all good here. I thought of some ideas on how can you prove my flat. Are you down for it? Let's see. Uh, have you seen the Eurovision last night? Oh my goodness me. Right. Sure. Let's do it because I need to renovate her property. Now she's super happy about that, which has now put her happiness to 53. Oh, this is going to be a long task, isn't it? I bet I could easily take on amateurs. Just put some music equipment in my bedroom. Okay. Begin the renovations. So her bedroom's here and then she requires some... Ava, please. This is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff that you are requesting right now. How am I going to squeeze all of this in? I mean, I could get rid of some stuff because we already have the rent offer. We're already getting the rent offer anyway. So I might as well kind of just make them more happy, right? So a chair, I mean, she, I mean, then again, I can't remember what she likes and what she dislikes. But we'll go for like a, a nice chair. Let's go for this one here. Can I put it there? Yes. She requires a speaker, so I'll get a couple of speakers just up here for her belting out her tunes. Some acoustic panels. For the um, the sound dampening, boys. Oh, these panels are actually bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of struggle to place these actually anywhere right now. Um, right, okay, let me move these. I'm going to move the speakers into areas... Why can't I pull it there? There we go. Uh, into areas a little bit more easier. Um, acoustic panel. All right, if I did one there, can I move this whole thing back by one? 
just in the hopes that I can make... Oh, there we go. I can slide them down. Can I move this? That might stop them walking. No, it's fine. Ha ha! And then a gramophone. Yikes. And then she wants the walls green. Right, that's everything. That is literally everything right now. If I leave, she is now super happy. So, awesome. Can't wait for the results. Nice stuff. Enjoy the refresh luck. Okay, appreciate it. So, happiness now is at 64. Yo! Okay. So, we'll keep... I mean, it's going to take a while to get this done. But we'll keep, an, we'll keep an eye on Ava as time goes on. We'll keep an eye. So, we got a report over here right now, which it doesn't really matter about... I mean, I could look at it. Um, shows us what went down and what kind of jazz. Not bad. But more importantly, um, we're making Ava happy. That's the most important thing. So we've got every, as soon as we unlock now stuff like um, uh, kind of upgrade points, we'll have to do our tenant side of things so we can you know provide more services for them. So let's get some money coming in then. Then so is there any babysitting jobs? By the looks of it, no. Looking for tenant renovations and makeover budget. Um, we've got Clover Drive, a workshop. Do you know what? I haven't done any find any tenants off um, lately. Let's do one of these. I don't think I've actually done uh, one in one of these places. Ooh, I've owned a property like this before, but I've never seen this type of layout. This is interesting, having the kitchen like that. So they require then somewhere between 33 and 48. 33 and 48. Okay, that's the only person right now. So I'm going to straight negotiate. Yeah. Oh, what happened there? I am beating around the bush. It is what it is. It is what it is right now. Right, give me that sweet money. Accept the offer. Get it done. Get it out of here. So now I'm thinking, right, with this Ava situation... Um, it's actually, it's actually going to take some time, but it gives me the time to work on the relationship. Now, it will go down as time goes on, granted. It will go down as time goes on. But it's kind of interesting, isn't it? You can kind of, like, forcefully play around with this. Right, she's not in right now. I think she's gone to the movies. But we're all done with this. All right. Okay, let's not focus on that then because we've still got a long time for it to all kind of settle down. So let's focus now then on making some money. So in the grand scheme of things then, I've got 88,000 currently in the bank. Uh, if I was to buy a new property, uh, I would need to first upgrade, which would cost me 35,000. Now, I'm wondering if we should maybe sell some properties in the future. I mean, current properties, oh, see, that is borderline affordable. But the only problem is I don't quite have the cash just yet. But it's something that I could potentially afford in the future. So babysitting job and 19 grand for this. We're all over it, boys. We're going to do it. We're going to get it sorted. We're going to begin the renovations. So big paying jobs also means lots of work. Now we get your boy, your boy's uncle to sort all this out. As much as he can. There's a lot of stuff to get done right now. Holy smokes, is there a lot of stuff to get done right now. But this is going to be the turning point. So, this is going to be the turning point to where we can earn some more revenue and hopefully buy another property. Now, what I think I need to do is another way to complete this goal is to maybe not have a year's tenancy on a tenant, have a little bit something a little bit shorter. Now, if I did 30 days, is that enough time to potentially make someone super duper happy? Like, literally make them um, over 80% in 30 days? It's going to be a tough one. So I'm thinking after these two jobs, should I return to the slums and see if I can make someone in a 30-day period get 80, get 80 rating on their happiness? 
it's going to be a tough challenge, but I think it's one that we do need to kind of um, take into consideration. So, a few more bits and bobs to get done. There's nothing on the outside to get done right now. This is literally all your boy's uncle needs to do. He actually managed to um, get this too, which is good. Um, right, one more to go. Then we'll exit and renovate. It's a big budget. So, we're going to have to do a lot of stuff, but it's a big, big payday as well. That's the most important thing. It's a huge payday. So, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, hallway and workshop and common items so if i then demolish all these walls and we'll rebuild them one by one so going all the way across i've got two bedrooms we've got a workshop and then we're going to need a bathroom and then we need a kitchen and a hallway so the hallway can be pretty much something like that and this becomes the big kitchen it's a big kitchen isn't it it's a real big kitchen but doors like that we'll see how this goes we'll see how it goes so bedroom let's begin with this one then so walls be green floors be hard i don't want a double bed which will place in the center because of the looks of it. They want two beautiful cabinets either side. They want a, a big boy TV on the wall. Um, they want a wardrobe. Squeezing just there. A DVD player. Can I fit it on the wardrobe? Very awkwardly, yes. DVDs. Yes, a painting Just there uh, A couple of wall shelves And then that bedroom is done second bedroom then walls be brown ill floors be carpet and They want a bunk bed in this one So I place it there to kind of Reclaim that little bit of dead corner section they want two desks. This is going to be a tight squeeze. One, two. Uh, a desk chair. One, two. Only one PC by the looks of it. Uh, oh, and a laptop. And then a wardrobe. Ooh, this is going to be a tight squeeze. And then a couple of cabinets. That bedroom is then done. We'll move on to the bathroom, which they do require a washing machine. Which this one's kind of slanted, isn't it? It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. Uh, walls be yellow, floors be tile. And then they want a bathtub. Do they want a shower as well? Okay, it doesn't say anything about a shower. Um, laundry basket. Goes with it. Nice. Toilet. Bathroom sink. And then all the usual suspects for the toilet then. So. Toilet paper. Get a plunger. Get a little bit of a towel rack. The bathroom mirror. We're done. So the hallway, which is going to be this little room here. So we'll try and squeeze all this stuff in as quick as possible right now. So we've got the coat rack, which you can put hanging on the wall. The umbrella rack. We've got the doormat. We've got the shoe stand. We've got the mirror. And it's done. So the kitchen next, we need the... Okay, let's do the walls first. It's a large kitchen, but, you know, I didn't realize how much more space we're going to have left over. But we start with the kitchen. How much money have I got, by the way? 11 grand. Kitchen sink. The cooker. There we go. Uh, kitchen cabinet. So we go kind of cheap on these ones. Because ultimately, we don't know how much space we're going to have left. The 
wall clock, the blender. That's a new blender, isn't it? The coffee machine. Kitchen done. That was the world's smallest kitchen. Now the oh the works the workshop is actually quite a lot of stuff that I need to add in. So we've nine grand remaining. Let's kind of go a little bit easy on this. Because you just never know what they're going to spring upon me. Because this like stuff like a table saw and whatnot and the workbench is quite it can be quite expensive if you're not careful. Right, that's 1800 and that's like a non-negotiable uh, fire extinguisher first aid kit uh, bookshelf and then I think we're gonna get away with this I don't think it's too much hassle and then some motivational posters done so common items then a big plant uh, wall plant wall decor I'm just throwing it in at this point. A couple of random stuff on the floor. And I've, have I got enough for a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. Right, that should give me the five stars. Without a question of a doubt. So, give your boy the revenue. Complete the babysitting job. And then we'll go to the slums and see what we can pretty much do. Right, Ava, I'll send in a pro. I'll sort that issue out for you right now. Please don't be upset. Even though her happiness is slowly decreasing. Uh, oh, there's a, an elite contract on the go. There's a small part of me that wants to get it done. <laughs> but uh, I want to get to the slums and try this 30-day situation out. Which might mean... Actually, it does mean I'm going to have to get an agent here. <laughs> which is going to be kind of annoying. So, if I... Yeah, I've got to get an agent. What's going on with Wayne right now? What's, what's the, oh, he's got another report. That's what it is. So we have to hire an agent here while I'm here. And it's only really for the one tenant that we've currently got. So I think I'm just going to choose Abby right now because day rate is low. Revenue share is low. I'm just going to hire her. And then once this is complete, which we should have the dude going around reviewing. Yeah. Or in this case, the lady. We can then get out of here. So we can check those two reviews. That was a five star, I got 23 grand. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And let's return back to the slums. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna take one property and we're gonna kick a tenant out. I'm probably gonna kick the tenant out with the, who's the least happiness, uh, happy. There's one of the tenants there. And we're gonna get one for a 30 day and we're gonna see what we can do to try and get the 80 rated happiness. To try and complete that goal, it's going to be an interesting kind of battle right now. Now, being in the slums, all the issues are now going to arise. But this person here, Orla, and she is in the... Oh, the ship. I would have thought she'd been a little bit more happier being in here. Yeah. So, oh, where am I going? So, manage this tenant, which is for the ship right now. How do I manage the tenant? It's here, isn't it? Yeah. So, at the lake, manage, and we're going to break the agreement. I'm so sorry, but you had to get out of here. So, now, we're going to do an open house. Do I do an open house, or do I add some new stuff in? Now, we'll, we'll try the experiment. We'll try this experiment first. So, open house them. See what we can get done. So, we have a musician here. He's probably not going to like it too much. Oh, a second musician. Interesting. All right. We have Whoa. here a a magician. See, now all the problems happen. I'm going to pass on it. Leave me alone. So, good, good, fine. Come on, guys. Have a second opinion. Someone have a second. Someone move. <laughs> What's Gary done? Ask this dude to leave. Another magician coming in. Right, next opinion. Whoa. Hot and heavy. All right. Whoa. She thinks it's fine. That dude's gone. What's this dude here? This dude is a, another magician. It's either a magician or a magician. It's really weird, isn't it? Right. right, this dude thinks it's exceptional. So we're going to negotiate right now. 30 day. 
put it right up. Yeah. See how much money we can get first. Let's rinse them first before we make them happy. Right, except that. I don't know whether it kind of brings me any more money, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I bought myself a completely new exercise kit. Can you be able to wear exercise in? Right, just leave me alone, please. i got stuff to do. People to see. Places to be. So, after re-signing that tenant, I'm gone from 666 to 1100. So, that actually worked out. Get his new tenant. Now, this dude here is called Harold. Your boy, Harold. Right now. So, Ava's happy 69. Uh, your boy Harold there. So let's see if we can now make your boy Harold even more happier. So first things first, we'll get a, a professional chef to come in and cook him up a storm. And that's what we'll first attempt right now. So where's this professional chef then? Yo, Harold, answer the door, boy. Is it a cook up a storm? It's Gordon Ramsay. Gonna cook up a storm for you right now, boy. Here we go. It looks like they're making tomato soup or something like that, doesn't it? Yes, interesting. So his happiness is 43. He go eat that food. It's going to be so damn delicious. And it's now still 43. Okay, that didn't really go down too well. Where's Harold gone? Harold! Where you gone, boy? Where you gone? Damn it. That be Harold. Where did you go? Alright, eventually I can level up again and get another skill point. So while I wait for your boy Harold to get back, what's next? A masseur to come and give people sensual massage? Oh my goodness me, I don't want to know. Uh, gifts. At the minute I can gift them um, a newspaper, sports magazine, celebrity magazine. I need more research points, don't I? That's what I kind of need to be focusing on right now. So, Harold, where did you go? Oh, here you are. So we'll give him a gift and we'll give him so we'll give him press. Oh no, he likes sweets. So give him some food and we'll give him uh, a cake. Harold, ding dong, I've got you a cake. Oh, is he going to bed? Oh, you know what else I should have done? Can I select Harold? Research to see if I can find anything else out about him. That's something else that we should do too. Now, 43, that's still what it is. See, Ava's going to be the one for us. Got a gift? Oh, he loves it. He absolutely lo He can't get enough of this gift right now, boys. Which has made him go to them. Oh, it's only 10 on to him. So gifts, food. I'll give him some donuts this time. So let's see what we can do with this then. Enjoy those donuts, boy. Oh, he loves the donuts too. That puts him to a 56. We've got some noisy tenants. Cut them some slack. Well, he's telling all his friends right now about how good of a, uh, a landlord I am. 55. Um, so the donuts didn't hit it. Oh, he likes flowers. I'll give him some press. Let's give him a celebrity magazine. I don't know if that's going to be his thing. I should also in the background get some babysitting jobs underway. Because that's something that can earn me XP and kind of level me up without me even doing anything. He loved the celebrity press, guys. Back to 56. But he loved more. Um, oh, The gifts of food and a... Oh, no. What happened? Oh, has he gone to work? He's gone to work. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, we just paid our bank loan. 14,000 big ones. Holy moly, that was really expensive. <laughs> um, right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, yo, total earnings, 5 million. Are you for real? Right, gifts, food, cake. Let's see if I can increase this anymore. I, this is why I need all the other stuff unlocked so I can give him variety. And he's now at 58, so it hasn't really gone in the right direction. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because it's quite difficult and I'm just kind of giving him the same stuff and it might be a case where he just gets bored of the same stuff all the time. 
Unless I just keep giving him... Oh, he's agreeable. Unless I just keep giving him, um... Stuff. <laughs> Gifts. And so on and so on and so on. Um... Right, okay. So, I, I need him to ask for something from me. Really, and me to oblige. So... Kind of trying to give him... They're busy now. Okay, I think he's going out to work or something. Oh, no, he's going out for food. So, it might be a case of I'm going to need another 30 days to sort it out. But at the same time, I feel like I need to get some more tenant trains. There's elite contract. I, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do some small jobs that will kind of get me XP really quick. So, all they require is no musicians, nursing aid. So, that's a magician. That's an athlete. Between two, Okay, kick you out. This dude's not old enough. Alcoholic. He falls within the category, so we'll negotiate. So this is literally all I'm trying to get done. Make offer. Make offer. Accept. So that will kind of complete that. And then... uh. I mean, I've got the babysitting job on the go, too. So hopefully that will kind of gather us enough research points to kind of see us through to this. We're getting close to it, and then both them jobs are now done. I got the reviews. They weren't the best of reviews, but, you know, it is what it is. So next, then, I don't really have anything else apart from renovation jobs. So this is renovating your kitchen. This is decorating so it's a case of I mean how long is left on this tenancy 11 days he's gone down to a 53 Kieran right now is going to a 68 how are these guys so happy it's because I need you know what it is you need them to ask for something from you and then that will boost it really really high it's a tough one isn't it it is a tough one so I'll like set this little kind of um, kind of renovation decorating job real quick. It shouldn't be too difficult. This begin the renovation. So it's it's really 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 low money. So I'm just gonna kind of squeeze in what I can to get it done as quick as possible. So right in the corner. So kitchen cabinets, um, boom and boom. They feel like they're hovering. It's really really weird. Some utensils. The fridge. Put that in here. I need the cooker. Which will squeeze in just there. I need a table. Bam. I need a couple of chairs. Wa-bam, bam. Wa-bam. I need a wall plant. Wa-bam. Wa-bam. I need a wall lamp. Shambam. Thank you, ma'am. I need a cooker hood. Right, it's going to have to go there awkwardly because of the what I've put up above. A corner thing. Right, I just want to get out of here right now and hopefully get some research points and just to kind of finish them off a mirror. Right, complete this, deliver the job. That should level me up. There's a babysitting job just there. That should now level me up because of how close I currently am. If not, it'll push me right to the edge. It will push me right to the edge. And we'll go see your boy Harold. So, is 51. Oh, he pushed me right to the edge. So that babysitting job will push me over them. So, Harold, mate. I'm going to gift you some more cake. Because you loved the first cake so much that I gave you. I even got five stars for that as well. Uh, jobs. Can't do multiple babysitting jobs, unfortunately. Yo, Harold, wake up, boy. There's someone at your door. Uh, I think they started cracking meth. Call the cops. So he loving the cake again. Punch a 55. It's difficult. It's going to be so difficult right now to get your boy Harold to where I want him to. Hmm. Maybe it's just not going to work out. 
Maybe it's just not going to work out. Like I said, I need him to to do something. Like to ask for something. So press sports magazine. I don't know if he's into sports. <laughs> this is something that we don't know about him. Uh he's agreeable. Reduce penalty. Okay, he's unfazed. Stuff always seems to break when they're around. He hasn't broke anything just yet. So, he's loving that stuff. He's a 56 right now. We'll do some services. Get another chef in. How long is this going to take to get done? This babysitting job, by the way. Um, oh, we got negotiations. We can negotiate to keep him here a little bit longer. Now, I wonder if that will um, increase his happiness as time goes on. Sending a pro. So we'll negotiate the lease. New traits. He's uptight. What does that mean? Oh, we've leveled up, by the way. Uh, we'll not be a fan of all the services. Oh, okay. He's probably not the perfect tenant for this. And this is a, oh, God, okay. So happiness is up. So negotiate for the best deal. Should I bring it down? Should I lose a bit of money? In the hopes that... It will make him a bit happier. Hmm. I wonder. So, skill tree. I could either do the massage, or I could do the unlocks gifts this side. Let's do the, the massage. But he's not going to be a fan of all services, though, is he? These are more gift-based. Um... Oh, we're not the flower. I'm sure he'd like flowers. Yes. Well, I can't interact with them right now because they're, they're kind of busy. Oh, I don't know what I've just agreed to there. Actually, I'm just going to cancel that one. I'm sorry. All right, is he off now? Yeah. So he likes flowers, and I could potentially provide him with flowers. Hey, a little favor to ask. Hold on. Um, fine. We just put him to 67. Oh, okay. Now, see, now he finally asked us something and I sorted him out. So he's got to be happy with that, right? Yeah, that made him super happy. 67. We're already 13 away. But I don't know if I can actually pull that rest of that back. That's going to be the difficult one. My heat start working. Send in a pro. Uh, we've got the agent reports, which I'm not really too bothered about. Uh, any more babysitting jobs? Grab that one. So, gifts, plants, flowers. Now, he likes flowers, so there shouldn't be anything he should be too worried about with this. He's going to love these flowers. 76. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I do another research, but we'll gift one more time plants. And we'll go flowers again. Now, if flowers is something he likes. I wonder if I give him double flowers, whether he goes over 80. All right, he's doing a doo-doo. <laughs> right, more flowers. 82! Holy smokes! We've got it. We've got it down, boys. We've got it down. So, all I need to do now is figure out when does his tenancy end okay we've got 29 days so i need to keep him happy he likes music flowers sweets so services i'll get a professional chef in again it's not he doesn't like all of it but i gotta try and keep it relatively high is what i've got to do i gotta try and keep it relatively high so the averages of this guy you're gonna drop below 80 very soon right now Sebastian, I'll send him a pro. So this one pushing that high. It's now down to 80. He doesn't like he dislikes intense movies. So once this is all done. He's at an 80. Come on, boy. He's, he's still at an 80. Right, okay, okay, fine. Uh, plants, flowers. Do I just keep giving this dude do I just keep buying this dude flowers? Is this what I do? 84. Okay. We'll give them another set of flowers. 
And then we'll come back to them in a little, in a little bit. Oh no, not food. Plants, flowers. He's like, yo, please, Seniac, let me live. I have no money. I, I don't have any more vases left for all these flowers you're buying me right now. So that put him to 86. Okay. So we found what works. We found what works right now. Um, hey, we are going to paint the walls. Sorry, our agreement doesn't permit that. Cut them some slack. Right, it's all kicking off right now. I'm going to delete all these messages. We got the review from this, which is five stars. Amazing. The agent reports. I don't really care too much for them. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> there we go. So jobs wise, we have another babysitting job we can kind of take care of right there. And doing two jobs is my limit until one of them goes into review. Then you can do another one. Now we have got to wait now 24 days for your boy Harold to end his tenancy. And if he asks for anything, we do it. So at the end of their lease, 80 rated. That's what we need. Now I don't know if that means you have to renew it or you can end it. I don't know. I assume it just means the end of it anyway. So here we're looking for a chemistry. Oh, chemistry career. Let's do that because that's actually quite a high paying job, this elite contract. Where is this? Have I done this one before? I don't think I've done this one before, have I? Uh, no, this was the school, wasn't it? Yeah, I've done this one before. I've done this one before, boys. So the blackboard, the teacher's desk. The student desk. We need 12 of these puppies. School chairs, we need 12 of these. Uh, desk chair, give the teacher a gaming chair. I just want to run through it all right now because I'm more trying to get focused on not making your boy Harold's um, thingy drop below. 80, you know what I mean? So I just want to get this done as quick as possible. Skeleton model. Then need a bookshelf. The school bell. The world map. I've never tried to build something so freaking quick. I've never had to build something so freaking quick right now. Um, school supplies. Uh, books. Oh my goodness me. It shows you how little I care about this one, doesn't it? Come on. There you go. Alright. Floors. Walls be brown. It's not really a school, but we'll take it. So the chemistry lab then. Did a pretty much the same thing here. Uh, we need to do a table. In a chemistry lab. Need a couple of lockers. A couple of school benches. Um, equipment. Chemistry model. Cosmo model. Cosmic model, sorry. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Hold on. I'm allergic to, to education. There we go. School bell. Uh, wall decorations. And books. So ventilation pipes. These are added extras. And done. So deliver that job then. How many more days? Barely any days passed there, did they? But I've got to try and keep your boy Harold as happy as Larry. So gifts. 
plants, flowers. Got to keep him happy as Larry these days, boys. Now, how far am I away from getting to the next level? We've still got a, a fair while to go. We've done the school project for the second time. Which is pretty, pretty much puts us halfway, which is really good. Um, happiness right now is now at 85. We'll give him one... Oh, no, he's gone out. Okay, fine. He's gone out. Oh, I'm so nervous to try and keep him above 80 rated. I'm so nervous about this. <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't kind of come in and hit us with something like, you know, detrimental. Like, it kind of ruins everything for us. That's what I'm hoping for. Wesley, send in a pro boy. Right, you can all leave me alone. So, jobs now then. That's a babysitting job we got on the go there. How long's left on it? One day. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. Um, gifts, plants, flowers. Oh, we got an issue right now. Something wrong. Sending a pro. So, where's Harold? Eight, 83 rating right now. Should get him back to an 85, 86. There we go. There we go, boys. And how long's left? 18 days. I feel so nervous. I ain't gonna lie. I feel so nervous. Right, let's. We're giving so many flowers. I'll gift him some food, a cake. We'll get that done right now. There's nothing else we can do to research them. I think we've researched everything at this point. So there's recent jobs, money coming in the bank, very good. And where does that put us on the leveling up? Okay, we've still got a while to go. So we will find a tenant while we're waiting. So it needs to be between 25 and 52. All right, negotiate with you. Make our fair, accept. <laughs> Just literally the bare minimum. I did literally the bare minimum right there. That's hilarious. Uh, find another tenant right now in this one. Oh damn, we got some funky music on the go right now. Between 25 and 42. Negotiate, make our fair. Accept. Those people asking me to find a tenant right now are not going to be happy. Three stars. <laughs> Three stars, boys. That's hilarious. Right, any more babysitting jobs? Yep, yeah, one there. One there. So what was that there? We got a client review. Another one, boys? One star. They didn't even pay me. Don't trust any act. This angel would have sent a bottle of water to my thirsty crowd. Okay, they wasn't liking the fact that I got a tenant so quick. They was not liking that fact, was they? So Harold at 90. Yo, Harold liking the, that cake right now, boys. Wait, is this Harold? Oh, it's because I'm looking at it from this angle. That was really weird. Right, gifts, plants, flowers. Ding dong. Harold, mate. Oh, I just realized something. I've kind of messed up, haven't I? The lease is for 120 days. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so... I, I've only just realized. If you were screaming at me right now in the comment section, I do apologize. I've only just realized that I'm so angry. I'm so angry. But we know what pushes your boys' buttons right now. We know what pushes your boys' buttons. So, it's not the end of it. 11 days. My heat start working. Uh, I'll send in a pro. That will fix it. Will a pro come in? Or is that just enough to kind of sort it out in general? Ah, I'm so annoyed. But it's 120 days. So we can have to negotiate for him for 120 days. But he could be the one for me. He could be the one for me. We've done so much work with him. That we're going to get it done. How many times have you tried to send me overdue money? I mean, I'm losing money right now. And why is this? Har oh, Harold. I don't want to upset Harold. I don't want to upset Harold. Uh, there's a problem. Send in a pro. Send in a pro. So, we'll wait for Harold then. 
uh, to the point where we can renew his tenancy. I'm not sure when it actually happens. Is it like days before it kind of ends or something like that? Um, right. I, am I losing money to my balance? Why is my balance so low? Hmm. Just got a new review. Five stars. We're back to being such a professional. Um, right, I was back again. Six days. 88 is happiness. Okay, he's going to call for an issue. I'll send the pro to fix it. 99 is happiness right now. It's such a shame. It's such a shame that it's 120 days you've got to do. So negotiate these extension. 120 days. Make the offer. Make the offer. Come on, Harold. A little bit more money. You, you're rinsing me right now. So I'm making a lot less money. Except this. He's a 98. Oh, no, that does it. I thought it was 120 days. I did it. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Let's go. Let's go. That I the last time I did a series on this game, I could I could not complete that quest. And now we have done it. So new items that have been unlocked. Let's go. So eventually I'm gonna kick Harold out. And um and get actual real money for this property because now I'm losing four grand a month. So that's not good. So, agent stuff then. Nice. Uh, skill tree. I could get the masseuse and unlock that service next. And the next goal then. It's time to shoot for the stars. Gather the cash and buy the most prestigious property in the suburbs. Right, okay. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... Get rid, because this is, he's going to cost me money right now, this dude. So, the lake, manage Harold, break agreement. I'm so sorry, but you've got to go. And I'm going to begin the open house. And I need to get an actual proper paying tenant in there. Now I'm not trying to satisfy this damn fool. So, she's ungood. What you what you saying? Good. You, sir? Unsatisfying! She likes it. It's still on good. What's she going to say now? Whoa. She likes it too. It's still on good. Right. What are you saying? Oh. Exceptional. So negotiate then for the whole year. Go big. All right, make these offers. Try and bring them up as high as possible. I'll do one more offer. Oh. She kind of went down, but I accept it anyway. So she's paying a lot more than your boy um, Harold right now. Which takes a big chunk off the top, which is good to see. I have a lot of bills. Why are my bills so high? Right, you're in debt. Uh, remind politely. Oh, Passiac Street. I have no one at Passiac Street. That's why I'm losing so much cash. Begin open house. There we go. There we go. So I just want to see what this lilac lane is and how much money I'm going to need for it. All right. All right. Good. I'm waiting for someone to be exceptional. Is what I'm waiting for. Yeah. Exceptional. Okay, we'll go with you. Negotiate for the year. That solves a lot of issues when you do it for a year. Make one last offer. I think making that last offer, that fourth offer, doesn't really go in your favor. So I think stick it. Stick out free. So that puts me back to now making uh, nearly a grand a month profit. So we're back to now making money. It's not a lot, but I do have a 14,000. If I didn't have that 14,000 bank loan, I'd be making 15 grand a month. So what is this property then? This lilac, is it lilac lane? Lilac street in the suburbs? The most prestigious property in the... How much cash... 
how much cash do I actually need? So, go to it. Yo. And this is going to be how much? Now, obviously, this is not the property, but it looks kind of similar. And that property there is 684000 Ha! Get out of here! You think I've got that cashola right now? Get out of here, boy. So what it shows you is then, we're now at the stage where we need to grind out the money. So, I mean, stuff I could do, which would be a big benefit, is, you know, this property that we purchased? I could sell that. There's nothing stopping me from selling it. I'll get 400000 potential value back, which would point, kind of put us towards what we need for the other property. So that, as much as it feels completely out of bounds it's something that could potentially get done then that's going up for auction soon which is upcoming auctions lilac oh it's only three hundred thousand. apparently this is the most prestigious property that could be done pretty easy but we'll end it for here anyway guys I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good.